guys, how you all doing? So today I'm here with a book review of Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Now, if you had a look at my September book haul, you would know that I absolutely love this cover. However, it is incredibly deceiving. Um, this cover kind of leads you to believe that it's a bit of a love story, but it really isn't. This is more of a mystery novel with a bit of science fiction and dystopia, and there's only a tiny bit of romance in here. Now on to what Across the Universe is about. Basically there is a spaceship called Godspeed and it is travelling to this planet called Centauri Earth. Now there's a bunch of people who are being cyogenically frozen and put on this ship to travel to this new planet um, that will take about 300 years to get there because Earth is no longer good enough to live on. So Amy is one of these passengers and she's frozen along with her parents, however Amy is unplugged 50 years before they're supposed to land. The second protagonist in Across the Universe is Eldar, and he is the heir to Eldest, who is the leader of the population living on Godspeed. These are the people who aren't frozen. And basically, Amy and Eldar work together to try and figure out who unplugged her and why, so as to prevent them from murdering any more of the frozen passengers. The plot of this story is what really drew me in, aside from this beautiful cover. I just, I just love it. I just can't get enough of it. Um, but yeah, there's just so much mystery and there are so many twists and turns throughout the entire book that keep you guessing and guessing right up until the very end. And I love how Beth Revis planted little clues along the way that kind of gave you an inkling, but you really had no idea what was really going on right up until the very end. The mystery unfolded and all the truth came out within the last 50 pages of the book. So obviously... It was slower paced, but it wasn't annoyingly so, because of this, it gave way to a lot of development of the characters and the environment upon this ship, and you really developed a deeper understanding of what life was really like. And this ties in with the writing, what I think about the writing. Beth Revis's writing in this book is absolutely beautiful. She creates such a vivid image of just what life is like upon this ship, this these people, I mean, how they've come to live and adapt within such a small space. Although it was pretty slow paced towards the beginning, there were those really, really intense scenes. There are a few of those, mainly towards the end, but oh my god, they were so fast paced and just absolutely crazy. The last one in particular, just, I was in complete shock when I was reading it. I was actually reading the end of the book in class because it was the end of term we weren't doing any work so I was just you know reading a book but when I came up to this scene I'm just like holy I actually yelled out and swore in class um probably not so smart but it's just the ending is crazy I mean when all of the truth comes out it's just like wow now Another aspect that I really liked was how Beth Revis, she, another aspect that I really liked about this book was the alterations with the language that was used by this futuristic people. So there was some new slang words that were frequently used and I actually understood most of them except for one, which is chuts. I have no idea what the hell chuts means. Um, I was just completely confused by the word because it seemed that it was used in a variety of different contexts and it just com just got me so confused and I have no idea what it means. So if you do understand what chats means, can you please comment and tell me what it really means because this is going to drive me insane. So let's talk about the characters. Now, Amy, she is pretty much just an average teenage girl. She doesn't have anything special about her. She reacts to the situations like I probably would. However, she does have a bit of strength, which derives from the love and loyalty that she has for her parents. By this, I mean she wasn't required to actually um, board this ship. She was given the option to because her parents are two people who are required to sort of established society on this new planet. Um, but Amy was given the choice to either be frozen or not and she decided to leave her old life, her boyfriend, her friends, everything behind to stay with her parents. So Elda, he was born a leader upon this ship so obviously he was a thinker, he took initiative, he 
had a really strong personality as well. So I really admired that in him. Elda is also really romantic and all of the romance from the book comes from Elda and the way he sees Amy, the way he thinks about her and everything. And I mean some of the things he does is really cheesy but it's pretty cute as well. Now my favourite character would have to be Harley and if you've read this book I'm sure you'll agree with me. He is just an incredible character. I wish I saw more of him in the book. I mean he played a really large part in the book as a side character but I just I, I loved his personality. He is a really caring person and the relationship he has with Amy is just incredible. He was really protective of her and really cared about Amy and it wasn't really in a romantic sort of way, it was more brotherly, but I just really admire him and I love him. He is my favourite character, most definitely. I just... oh my gosh. Now, Across the Universe was a really, really hard book to write. Um, I just loved it so much and based on my analysis of the book and the things that weren't really perfect, like the slow pace and Amy's character not being all that exciting, I would probably give it a four and a half stars. However, I wasn't really bothered by these aspects and my love for the book and my love for Harley outshines all of the cons and because of this I would have to give Across the Universe five out of five stars. So yeah, that is my review on Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't read it, please do. It is an amazing book. You will love it. I can guarantee you that. Um, there is a sequel coming out soon called A Million Suns. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm really excited for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.